Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. This time I'm bringing you part two of the ultimate kitchen declutter along with a mini marathon of what we did to get to this point in our kitchen. So I recently purchased um, these four shelves at Costco. I got them on sale. Um, they were such a great deal and I'm going to use them for my upper cabinet where I store um, my glasses, my mugs, and my plates. I really needed to optimize the storage with being able to bring in different tiers so that I can, you know, be able to put ample amount of plates and also cups and not have them stacked high on top of each other. So I was so excited when I went to Costco's and these um, shelves were on sale. They're very sturdy, they're in a gray color, and they are going to look amazing inside of this cabinet. Now I have been saving um, this video. I did shoot it about a month or so ago. So you do still see the garland from Christmas um, that's still hanging. Um, I wanted to just be able to combine the last couple of declutters that I needed to do in the room and just put it in one video. So what I'm doing here is just emptying out the cabinets and then we're going to just put in the um, shelves after I finish cleaning so that I can just arrange and see exactly where I want to put each shelf and be able to visually balance it off. Now, in, I decided to do this um, when the cabinet was not fully stocked. So I am going to be emptying the dishwasher with all of the items that um, go into this uh, cabinet. And then we're gonna rearrange and we're gonna find the perfect spot for all of the items. So I just want to introduce myself to everyone in case you're new and clicked on my video for the first time today. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, on my channel, I do all things homemaking. I've been doing a lot of home update vlogs recently. I do cleaning, organizing. Um, I try to do all things homemaking and I like to bring you guys along on my weekly vlogs. So if this sounds like something that you are interested in, I hope that you subscribe to my channel and continue on with my YouTube journey. And I just want to welcome back all of my uh, subscribers. I really do appreciate each and every time that you come back and watch another video on my channel. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video today.
I am super excited that I was able to organize this cabinet to be able to be efficient with the space that I have. I don't have a large kitchen, so I just have to make sure that I utilize my space to the best uh, possibility. And um, while doing so, I realized that I was underutilizing this cabinet up here. And I thought that I could swap it with my below corner cabinet and I would be able to put my surplus food up here and then these pots and bowls down below because I don't use them as much. And the food that I have down below will be up here and I'm really able to see exactly what I have. And I'm also going to be able to find a spot to store my food ninja, which we spoke about in previous videos that I don't like to have on the counter. I'm gonna be taking all of this food out of here and relocating it and finding a home down below for the food ninja. So we're just gonna accomplish this now. So I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love when I'm able to just switch things around and make the space work better for me. Um, so leave me a comment down below if you've done any tasks like this in this new year where you're able to just rearrange spaces to be able to have it work better for you. So I'm super excited that I was able to share um, these two new organization areas in my kitchen. And now I'm just going to show you what we've accomplished over the past uh, year to be able to get this kitchen very organized. So I hope that you guys enjoy the balance of the video. So before we start to doing the decluttering, I'm just gonna have to tidy up my kitchen. My counters are a little full. Um, we did do a little cooking um, earlier today. So you do see my uh, Ninja that's out on the counter. It is becoming a staple in my home. We love cooking with it. If you remember um, from last week, we just purchased it from Costco's and we are absolutely loving it. So if you haven't watched my last video, which was my Sunday reset, I'm gonna link it in the cards and in the description so you can check it out. But we're gonna get started. We're gonna clean down the cabinets. I'm just giving you an overview of all the items, you know, that we have in our kitchen, on our countertops that we need to tidy up.
So this foodie um, ninja is humongous. Um, I knew that it was gonna be really tall, so we needed to find a spot that I would be able to tuck it away because I'm not one that likes to have appliances sitting out on my countertop. I like to have everything tucked away um, behind cabinets. So leave me a comment down below if you have a food ninja and if you leave yours out on your countertop or if you put it away. Because I am finding that it is a little heavy to be you know, putting in the cabinet and taking it out, but I just cannot bear to have it sitting on my countertop. So just leave me a comment and let me know if you are an appliance person out or tucked away. So I have this stainless steel frying pan and I recently used it and it's been having like little stains, uh, burn marks on the uh, coating. So what I did was I put some baking soda and some dish soap and I'm just giving it a little elbow grease to be able to make it shine. So this is a tip if you ever have like any baked on uh, stains, just use a little baking soda. So now that we're all cleaned off on our countertops, we're gonna be tackling two drawers. The first one is this utensil drawer over here. And that container um, that I have the utensils in actually is much larger than that drawer. I took one section off and I put it in another drawer. So I was thinking today that I would move it all over to the larger drawer and then I would be able to utilize all three compartments because it's in three different pieces and it'll be easier for me to just spread out all the utensils. So I'm going to be cleaning out this um, little drawer over here and I'm just going to then uh, swap some of the other items into this drawer to just make it look a little neater. It's probably gonna be a home for um, some of my dish towels, which I really don't have a home for. It's like randomly thrown in some of the drawers. So that'll be a little designated area over there. And while I'm cleaning out the drawers, I have like little like stains. So I'm just using the magic eraser um, to just get out all of those stains. Now while we're focusing in on this, I'm just gonna take all of the utensils out and wash uh, the containers, and then I'm going to be putting it into the other drawer. I like to do this every so often because a lot of like particles um, you know, form at the bottom of these trays, so it's just good to just wash them out every so often and restock them. So in these projects that I'm doing inside of the kitchen, I really didn't want to have to go out and buy a bunch of things. I actually only bought one um, container for my trays because I needed to, to utilize the space a little better. So I'm really excited that I was just able to repurpose this tray that I already had and make 
better um, utilization of it. And I just really love the way this is turning out. I'm able to organize all of my utensils in a different way than I had before. And I think that it works so well in this larger drawer. So now that we squared away the other drawer, I'm just going to come back, back over to the smaller drawer. I'm reutilizing uh, the tray that was in the larger drawer here because it fits this space so much better. And I'm just arranging all of the um, miscellaneous um, things. I have silicone straws. I have like corner on the cob holders. I have just like random things that I keep in this drawer. Okay guys, so this cabinet above my refrigerator is a disaster. It is so tall and deep that I've just thrown so many things in here and I can never find anything up here. So here it is, you can take a look at it and it is a disaster zone, but we're gonna take everything out. This is the area that I plan on um, using a organizer that I purchased on Amazon. I'm going to show it to you guys in a minute, but we're just going to clear it out, clean it up, and then we're going to um, switch over to loading um, the items back in here. So our question for the video is what area in your home would you want to have more organized? Now for me, that is a lot of areas, but I think the main area for me is my linen closet. So leave me a comment down below with the area that you wish was more organized in your home. So this is the um, organizer that I picked up on Amazon. It's really sturdy. I like that it, um, you can take it apart and it's adjustable. The little like slots are metal and I think that it's really sturdy. So I'm not sponsored by you know this company, not by Amazon or anything, but I think that it's a good item um, to have. I was looking for something um, that was sturdy. So I'm really pleased with this product.
Now I know that this is not the most aesthetically pleasing um, cabinet, but it is so functional now and I'm actually able to see the items, you know, that I have in there. They're not being scratched up because they're laying on top of each other. So I'm happy. So this is how it's turning out. Um, I am going to be able to use the space so much better. And now we're going to move on over to this cabinet, which is above the uh, microwave. It's a smaller cabinet. It's not as deep, but it also has a lot of items in there. And I store a lot of like my pictures and glassware. So the big um, punch bowl and another bowl, I'm actually going to be moving um, to uh, the garage um, and not having it up in the kitchen because I don't use it that often to be able to take up that much space. And I'm just going to wipe it down, take everything out, um, you know, organize. I'm going to declutter some items and then we're going to just dock it back in and make it as pretty as possible. Now I don't, I don't even know how I wound up with like three packages of brown paper bags that are like a hundred count each, but that's what happens when you just have things like crammed in cabinets and you can't get to them as easily. So I took them all out and I put them inside of that wicker basket so it has its own spot. And then I'm just um, putting all of like my different decorative pictures and my trifle uh, tray up here. And I'm also um, putting, you know, a couple of other um, display items as well. And I think that it turned out good. It has a lot of items up there, but I'm able to see everything and I know everything um, that's in the cabinet and nothing is getting lost. So this is how we're turned out. I think that it looks um, very nice, much better than it did before. I'm pretty happy with it. Now the next area that we need to tackle are these two pull-out um, cabinets, which is right below the section of my microwave. I really like um, where I have everything. I just think that it can be, um, you know, put away a little better. So I'm just going to be taking some items, all the items out, cleaning it down and reorganizing it.
So I'm pretty happy with everything that we were able to accomplish today. And I only had to make one purchase, which was the um, organizer for like my large trays and, um, and dishes. So I'm pretty happy that I was just able to um, reuse items that I already have and then just to organize to make things a little more functional. So it's Sunday morning. Um, my husband is actually at Costco. Um, I am just giving you an overview of what my bedroom is looking like and then we're just going to make the bed. I decided to change over our comforter to our heavier winter uh, comforter. Um, it's a down insert and I'm just putting it inside of my duvet cover. And while I do this, I just wanted to share with you guys what I do on a weekly basis um, for food prep. So coming in January, I wanted to just completely clean out my freezer upstairs and my deep freezer. So this morning I went through and I just listed all of the items that I have in my freezer. So I wanna make sure that I start off the new year with a nice clean freezer upstairs and downstairs. 
So that's why I did my list um, based on everything that I had available in my freezers. So then after I had my list, then I sat with my family and we came up with a meal plan for the week, which I do every week. And especially before my husband goes food shopping. So this time I took all of the meats that were listed in the freezer and I put them at the bottom. And then we took all of the meats and then we just worked them into our meals for the week. And hopefully we're able to fully clean out the deep freezer and also the freezer inside of the um, kitchen. So this is how my bedroom turned out and we're gonna head downstairs and we're gonna start off with our haul um, from Costco. So my husband picked up all of these items. So we got some cherry tomatoes, some bananas, some gala apples. We got some carrots and some romaine lettuce as well as cucumbers. This was a pretty light trip because as I said, I'm trying to clear out my deep freezer so we didn't buy anything that needed to go into the freezer. So next up we have yogurt, which we get every single time that we go to Costco. And in the back, we just got some additional deodorant for my husband and my son. I got a large um, pack of brown eggs. And then we were running low on um, peanut butter, so we picked up the peanut butter. And we also got um, some mozzarella cheese, some sliced cheese, some cheddar cheese. Um, we picked up more sour cream. We love to have that in a lot of our meals, especially our tacos. Um, we also got some half and half because I was running low on that. And we are out of whipped cream. I usually don't get that kind of whipped cream, but they only had the light kind. So we picked that up. And I'm just going to start putting all of the items away. Now, because this is so early in the morning and because I was doing other things while my husband was at Costco's, I forgot to clean out the refrigerator. So you're going to see I started to put um, some items away and then I realized that I hadn't cleaned out the freezer. So we're just going to tackle that now. I'd like to introduce myself again. My name is Daphne. I wanted to welcome anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today. Welcome. And to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I truly appreciate your support and I'm so happy that you joined me today. So my question for this video is, have you ever done a vision board and would you be interested in doing a vision board this year? I did my vision board for the first time last year and I feel like it made so much of a difference in how I approach this year and I'm definitely going to continue to do vision boards. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've ever done one before. So this is how my refrigerator turned out. It's just a quick cleanup, but it looks so much better, nice and tidy. And while my husband was at Costco, he picked up a Food Ninja and he's been wanting this forever. 
So he picked it up and for lunch, we're gonna try it out. Um, we're just gonna see, we're gonna put some tacos in it and we're gonna do some like breaded chicken. And later tonight, I'm gonna be doing a roasted um, chicken in it. So I'm really gonna be able to try it out. But this is how the kitchen is looking after, you know, I took and put all of the um, groceries away. So we're just gonna get started with clearing off the countertops and taking all of the dishes out of the dishwasher and we're gonna put them away and we're just gonna to continue to clean uh, the kitchen.
so we did stop and we had lunch um, and now I'm back in the kitchen I'm gonna be tackling this stove which really needs a lot of help um, I'm just spraying it down the grates I'm taking off and I'm gonna spray down the top um, with a little uh, multi-purpose cleaner and I'm just going in with a paper towel and just wiping it down and then I have a couple of um, like stuck on spots that I'm just putting a little baking soda on so just th so that it'll be able to release um, the grime um, with minimal effort and I'm just gonna wipe it down and get it nice and clean So I'm just putting away the leftovers and then I'm just gonna wipe down the counters. So as I said, we got the uh, Food Ninja with my husband wanted for so long. He finally broke down and bought it. Almost finished I'm just um, wiping down um, my stainless steel appliances and then I'm going to go in and just vacuum the floor um, I also mopped I didn't um, film that but I did mop and then at the end I'm just going to be restocking my snack drawer and I do this on a weekly basis um, because we go through so much so I'm just going to be restocking that as well
I picked this candle up at Trader Joe's the last time that I was there and it's a pine scent and it smells so nice so I like to light it after I finish cleaning. So this is how my dining room is looking. Um, the Food Ninja was taken out of the box in here and then also the recycling um, from the items that I um, put away from Costco are also in here. They're gonna make their way out and I'm just going to be clearing off the table and then I'm going to be dusting the sideboard, the table, wiping down the table and just you know straightening up. Very light work in the dining room, um, but I do like to make sure that I at least um, dust and wipe down the table on Sundays. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing what I do on Sundays. Um, I have other routines as well that I've shared, you know, on my channel. Um, I've shared my morning routine upstairs, downstairs. I shared um, daily habits, um, which also included uh, self-care. So I'm going to link those videos in the cards and also in the description in case you're interested. And also, if you haven't watched my um, Christmas decorating series. I'm also going to link that in the description and leave it in the cards as well. And I just want to thank you guys for spending this time with me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I do on every Sunday. And I just want to thank you guys for your support. It's really appreciated. It, I want to remind you if you haven't subscribed and this is your first time here, um, I hope that you enjoyed it enough to subscribe and join my family. And while you're here, if you haven't watched these videos on the screen, check them out and have a blessed day.